This is the second part of uh, Ultimate Conditioning series. Today's topic is how muscles get uh, the energy for uh, the muscle contraction. Muscle contraction is powered by a crucial energy currency known as ATP, which stands for adenosine triphosphate. Your muscles depend on ATP to fuel the contraction process. This energy molecule acts as the primary source of energy for various cellular activities, including uh, muscle contractions. All the food uh, you consume serves as potential fuel for your muscles. When you eat, uh, the nutrients from your food are broken down through digestion and metabolic processes. These nutrients can ultimately be converted into ATP, the energy currency your muscles rely on. In addition to direct, directly generating ATP from the breakdown of food, Excess nutrients can also be stored in the form of carbohydrates and fats within your body and, wait, and they are waiting to be uh, transformed into ATP when needed. Muscles uh, require energy to contract and, and ATP is the uh, primary source of uh, energy for muscle contractions. However, uh, as mentioned, uh, muscles contain only uh, limited qu uh, quantities of ATP. So they need uh, mechanisms to resynthesize uh, it when it gets uh, depleted uh, during physical activity. Uh, here is a brief uh, breakdown of uh, the different energy sources used by muscles uh, based on uh, the intensity and duration of the workload. ATP, uh, adenosine triphosphate, this is the uh, immediate energy source for muscle contractions. Muscles store a small amount of ATP but it's quickly used up during high-intensity, uh, short-duration um, activities. Second energy source is uh, creatine phosphate or CP. Creatine phosphate uh, acts as a quick energy reserve in muscles. When ATP is depleted, creatine phosphate uh, can donate um, phosphate group to uh, ADP or adenosine diphosphate uh, to regenerate ATP. This system provides uh, rapid energy for short, short bursts of activity, such as lifting heavy weights. The next energy source is uh, muscle glycogen. Muscle cells uh, store glycogen, which is a complex carbohydrate and can break it down into glucose for energy. This is a valuable energy source during moderate to high intensity exercise and can sustain muscle uh, activity for uh, longer durations. Next uh, energy source uh, for muscle contractions is liver glycogen. The liver uh, stores uh, glycogen as well. When blood glucose levels uh, drop during uh, prolonged exercise, the liver can break down glycogen into a glucose and release it into the bloodstream to maintain the energy supply uh, throughout uh, the body during, uh, during the intense exercise. Uh, next on the menu are lipids or fat-free uh, free fatty acids. During uh, low to moderate intensity and long duration activities, 
the body can utilize stored fat as an energy source. Fatty acids are broken down into ATP through a process called uh, beta oxidation. This is an efficient, long-lasting energy source, especially for endurance activities. During uh, muscle contraction, the process begins when ATP molecules are used to power the movement. However, ATP uh, is a finite resource in your cell and is quickly depleted during intense muscle activity. To sustain contractions, ATP is broken down into ADP and an anorganic phosphate molecule through a chemical reaction. This uh, reaction releases energy that uh, fuels the contraction.